I promoted solar energy uh, back in 1975 when I signed a law that granted a 55% tax credit to the installation uh, of solar. At that time, it was mostly uh, solar hot water. Uh, but 55% uh, was a credit, not a deduction. So you took it right off your state income tax. Uh, probably the biggest incentive that has ever been provided. But over the years, uh, times change. Uh, but still, California at that time uh, was leading the way in solar and building efficiency. And then uh, very shortly after uh, 1982, um, promulgated uh, appliance efficiency standards. So uh, we did get uh, the sense of uh, renewable energy, efficiency, elegance in the way we handle resources. Uh, today, of course, we know a lot more. Uh, we know about climate change. Uh, we now have a population, several billion more. Uh, we know uh, if the uh, demographers are right, that the world will add another two billion people. Uh, two billion people, we now have a billion cars. When I was governor the last time, there were a couple hundred million cars. In fact, cars are reproducing faster than people. <laughs> and as long as they're using oil, we got a problem. That's why in California we have a goal to get a million uh, electri elect electric vehicles by 2025. So that <clears throat> California does have the goal of 33% renewable energy. Uh, we have the goal of a million solar rooftops. We already have over 130,000 installations on, uh, on homes and small businesses. Uh, so we're looking at utility, scale, uh, insulation of solar. We're looking at individual homes and, and, and businesses. So wherever we can, uh, we are encouraging it. We're number one in the country. We're going to keep on going. It's, it's very critical. Now, I know uh, from the idea uh, to the execution uh, to the secure realization uh, it takes a long time. And we have to have patience. We have to have staying power. So that, that's the dilemma. Uh, when we look at the, most of the countries, uh, Germany is certainly an exception, uh, but most are not stepping up to the plate. There is a complete uh, disproportion between the knowledge and the magnitude, uh, the knowledge about and the magnitude of climate change and what it's going uh, to do uh, to, to our way of life and our response. The response is feeble compared to the challenge. And, and we got to wake up to that fact. <laughs> and I hope that uh, the work you do here, the conversations, the relationships that are formed can help advance uh, the cause of solar energy and renewable energy more generally. Now, a lot of people like to fight nature, but we are nature. So when we fight nature, we're fighting ourselves. We're fighting our own life support system. Uh, that's, that's really the challenge here. So it's business, it's a livelihood, but it's also a calling uh, to wake people up uh, to uh, make the kind of uh, progressive steps that are crucial uh, to make sure that we keep going. So we have 130,000 solar installations. We're going to get several hundred thousand more, and as governor of California, I guarantee we're going to get there because I'm going to move aside all the obstacles. Whoever and whatever they are, get out of the way. The sun is shining brightly in the state of California. We're going to need an indomitable will to overcome all the inertia, the blindness, and the silliness that stands in the way from our obvious destiny and future, which is a renewable, sustainable, solar America and solar world. Thank you very much.